Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today is the first boot. First boot of what? Of Ubuntu's 13.10 Beta 1 GNOME uh, UI version. Uh, I think I already did three first boots with you guys. I did a first boot with Kubuntu, Lubuntu, and Zubuntu, and the last version that Ubuntu did is the GNOME version. So I'm going to place the link at the bottom of the description so you guys can get a copy of it. You can either get an 86 bit or a 64 bit. So it's really up to you. But like always, you get this nice little welcome screen to, you know, pick your language and as well you could either try it out or install it. I always install it. So let's install it. I think the next screen is going to be uh, to prepare. You got to make sure you have at least 5.7 gigs available uh, disk space uh, and internet connection. If you got to think have one red, it won't allow you to continue. Uh, I'm going to erase the disk and install Ubuntu uh, GNOME. Uh, I think best practice is you can encrypt your hard drive but for this first boot we're just gonna erase the disk and install it and where are you so I'm around here excellent one shot we're gonna hit continue and by default it picks English US awesome that's the keyboard layout that I want and the next thing is who are you so this is going to be the first account on your machine and you want to give it a name and a password. Make sure you enter a strong password and remember your password. <laughs> uh, so I normally do a login automatically. By default, I kind of recommend to do a require my password to log in and also encrypt your home folder. We're going to hit continue. And one account to log in to everything on your Ubuntu. This is new. This is my first time actually seeing this during the installation. I'm not going to do the Ubuntu one. So I am a returning Ubuntu user. No, I am a new. I'm gonna say login later. I don't want to deal with that. And it's gonna continue installing and copying the files. I'm gonna do the drop-down menu right here to see all the files in case something gets an error. You always want to see like the error log. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, it's going right now. So this is pretty cool. Pretty exciting. Okay. So once the installation is completed, you can get this nice little dialog box that it's requiring you to restart your machine so we're gonna restart now and up to this point it's best that you remove the CD or the ISO from your virtual machine or hardware or your laptop or whatever we're gonna I'm gonna remove the, the ISO because I don't need it anymore okay so I guess we are finally booted into the machine that was pretty quick uh, again I chose to log in automatically and it looks pretty cool I mean activities there it goes click on activities gives you a nice little docs kind of station uh, that kind of zooms out on the left hand side uh, what was that that's pretty cool what's this oh that's cool oh that's like your multiple windows and let's locate uh, the settings folder the settings thing I don't even know where to look for that Oh, settings I'm gonna right click go to system settings which is pretty weird again this is a first boot for me booting up Ubuntu 10 point no actually 13.10 beta 1 oh, display and as always I love to change the display so we are going to change it to let's uh, give it uh, 1280 to 680 it's not that bad we're gonna keep the configuration awesome I'm gonna close it so uh, not too much is happening with the GNOME edition uh, to get somewhere you gotta actually click on activities or you could type what you want so if I want terminal hopefully I spell it right it pops up uh, and it's not like the other uh, versions they have more options when you hit activity you got like, a sub menu that pops out with things or you have like the docking station at the bottom to pick what you want on this version it looks like you have to have you have to click on activities for this to pop up uh, oh show more applications didn't see that you only got uh, system settings at the bottom of here you get an option of frequent and all so let's click on all oh, okay this looks pretty pretty cool I like the way that the icons look uh, this is pretty nice this is pretty cool but again but my question to you guys is which version would you use the most which one would you prefer 
uh, would you prefer the GNOME? Would you prefer Lubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, or just regular Ubuntu? Which one do you prefer? I don't know. I think in one of the videos, I kind of enjoyed a lot Kubuntu. I really liked the the way the interface was and the panels and all that good stuff. I really liked that one a lot. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this first boot with me. Again, if you have any comments or questions or answer that question that I just asked, which version do you like the most? Uh, leave them right below at the bottom of the video at the comment section. And hey, don't forget about hitting that like button and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.